Parkway Zibekwe Misata attended Infancy Pim School. He used to frequent the school. And then when he became the vice president, he used to come here often. Especially, he graces every speech and prize given there. They say he's contributed hugely to the development of Infante Pim. Notable among the achievements, they say, are the library uh, complex that we find here, which was started during the Achampon regime, but was recently commissioned by him. Also, the Science Resource Centre on campus was also championed by his year group and he subsequently commissioned it. School authorities were distraught upon hearing the sudden death of the former vice president. They say Parkway Sibeku Misata will be sorely missed. It came as a shock to me. If I was here when my the school chaplain came and said he wanted permission to go to the late vice president's mother's house to, to console her because he, he, he's had a message from, I don't know which bishop, uh, people were trooping. I said, ah, what has happened? And he told me, oh, I'm quoting, ah, and I had my supply one tear. I said, Vice President Wakabe, I said, oh. So then, I think the news went as home, well, masters, you know, started talking about. I didn't meet him at all. I came in 72. And he left Form 5 in 69, so he left 6 Form in 71. So a year he left, I came. Rather, I came to meet his, his brother, Jabesh, the Bisata, Scare Odam Methodist Church. I think his father was working there. I had a very cordial relationship with the school. In fact, he did a lot for the school. He belonged to the class of MOBA 69, that is those who left school in 1969. And they donated the care track that we are using now to the school. They also constructed the gate at the other end of the school so that now it is transportation or traffic. Before then, if you, if you wanted to go to Ted Ridge, you had to go round, but now you just pass through France and you get to Ted Ridge. And we have this library complex directly opposite my office. I was a student in Form 4 when the then head of state, General Champon, cut the sword for, the, for commencement of work. That was 1976. It was 2016, through the efforts of the late vice president, that the building was completed and commissioned. But not him alone, we had the whole of MOBA, that's the MOBA National, also played their part, and we had a get fan, but it was commissioned by the former vice president, 2016, before I became headmaster. Even before he became vice president, he, 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 he used to come to this school, because during one of our speech days, when I was not even the headmaster, 2011 or 2010, if my memory says, man, he was then the governor of Bank of Ghana, so he was, he, he was the chairman for the occasion at speak day in 2010 or 2011. He was the chairman. We are at Mori, where Parkwisi Bekwin Emisata comes from, and we are especially in his home. Man, that's why we jamu so. Oh, me me a current. I sent the matters was just so good. Man, I'm here as an chairman. Man, I'm busy. Matters need to. I know. Oh, when I'm a small home. And so, man, my pa. No, I'm just me a man. I'm new. I'm boomy. I know. Okay, miss my head. I mean, for the currency. So he says that he's a brother, and they used all all of them used to fellowship at the Methodist Church, and he happened to be the diocesan chairman, and they've been doing things in common, and they are really broken with the sudden death of the former vice president. I, I, I don't know what kind. If you are, this is not true. I say no. Hey, no. I say governor. No, I say we are very fair now. We the. Let's <laughs> 
Adame, this year, I can say, so we are in Chowi. Who am I? So, this is the head of family, and he's some fond memories of the late uh, Parkway Sibakwe Misata. And this very house we're in, they said that the roof uh, ripped off, but it was through his instrumentality. He said at the time that it wouldn't be nice should someone follow him to his hometown and seize the states, the deplorable states of the house. And so he helped roof it and then put it in a better shape. Also, his contribution to education in this community, Mobi community, has been enormous. And they mention the basic schools and the senior high schools that are here. And they are in the process of constructing a university uh, in his name. They are appealing to the president that um, the president should name the Mori Senior High School after him because a lot of people have, I mean, have contributed to the development of this uh, community, but he stands tall among a lot of the people. Uh, papa <laughs> so, um, she says essentially that they have lost a great, a great son. He was doing a lot of things to help the family and the community. It's unfortunate that he had to go that way because they, the elderly, should have gone before him. But this is the case that he's gone, and then they are here. They say that that is the path that pains them, but it is the will of God, and so they leave everything to God. Um, this gentleman standing here is uh, Kosam. Uh, Kosam is um, at the polling station where former vice president was going to vote in 2020. Indeed, he joined them to vote in the uh, constituency elections um, about a month ago. So it came as, as a shock to them that the man was dead when they just saw him just about four days before his demise. They are really, really broken. The appeal to government is that government should help continue some of the projects that the late vice president was undertaking. Their schools, uh, the, uh, the, their, their bridge, their roads and other things. They want government to tackle that thing. Also, they want a monument or a statue to be erected in his honor here in his hometown. This is where he comes from, and they want something to remind them constantly, every day, that indeed they lived a great man who once lived and came from Mori. So this is the entrance to the family house here at Mori, and this is where 
former vice president Pakwe Sibekwe Emisata comes from. The mother and the great grandmother, they all hail from this place. We've had interaction with the family head and other members of the family. The youth were not left out. They are all distraught. They are broken. They say they've missed a great personality that, one, that once lived and came from this community. This is Maureen, a predominantly fishing community. So he came from a fishing community, and this Maureen community is in the Abra Asebu Kwamankase district. He votes here, and um, before his untimely death, he came to vote in the constituency elections of the NDC.